All right, so they may not be here yet, but the dog days of summer are quickly approaching. Heat and humidity will also come along with it, and this can lead to health problems if you're not careful. Stefan Reels is live at one spot that people can really be in the heat and feel it this morning. Good morning, Stefan. Good morning, Yvonne, and like you said, once the heat does get here, we are expecting a load of people to come on down here to Peabody Park, take advantage of these splash pads, and really couldn't be coming at a better time because, like you said, that heat can lead to health problems, including death potentially, and we've been seeing a growing number of those over the past few years across the country. In fact, just last year, there were over 2,300 heat-related deaths. So doctors tell me that it's best to prepare yourself before you head on out into the elements. Regardless of how good a shape you're in, the heat can affect everybody. Heat is on the way, and some weather models show most states will have a summer one to two degrees warmer than average. So doctors like Ben Bowman at Methodist Germantown suggest being prepared before dehydration turns into a heat-related illness. Where you get extreme fatigue, dizziness, some people will either faint or pass out. Those are all signs of certainly heat exhaustion, potentially heat stroke, and they ought to be immediately moved to a cool area for um, preferably indoors if possible. Now being outside is one of the most refreshing ways to spend the summer. I mean, who doesn't love taking a run right here at Shelby Farms? But if you're like me, you're going to want to either take your daily dog in the morning or the evening when the heat is less severe. Even as early as eight or nine in the morning, it can be, it can be quite hot and dangerous if you're not taking proper precautions outside. And even when you are outside, Bowman said to make sure you have a way to stay cool, whether it's a fan or a bottle of water. Staying hydrated is it's more than just having a bottle of water with you when you're outside. But once you're out in it, you need to constantly replenish that water that you're that you're losing. And Bowman tells me that if you notice that someone is probably suffering from a heat related illness, you're going to want to take them inside. But if they don't get better within 15 to 30 minutes, you're going to want to seek medical attention. But for now, live at Peabody Park, I'm Stefan Reels. A lot of good information there, Stefan. Thank you so much and stay cool. Heat really impacts different communities differently. Here are some of the most vulnerable, which include the elderly or people who live alone, those with health conditions, or those who may not have AC. The CDC also said people who live in rural areas tend to be impacted by heat more.